Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today video is going to be on reverse harem books that I read and obviously that I recommend to you guys to go read. I feel like this video might be a little bit long, so we're just going to get right into it. So the first series, all the books that I'm going to be mentioning are the first books of the series. So I'm just going to let you know what reverse harem is. It's just a character that falls in love with multiple partners. It's just crazy, it blows my mind that people really do that, but I love reading about it and it makes me excited. The first book that I'm going to be mentioning of this series is the first series that I've ever even read about a reverse harem at all. I had no clue what it was, I just kind of jumped, just jumped right into it and it blew my mind. I believe the first three books that I'm going to be mentioning are all by the same author, C.M. Stinched. I'm probably butchering her last name, but I'll leave everything down below in the description. The first book in this series is The Filthy Rich Kids and this is a Burberry Prep series and I'm just gonna get into the book description and then tell you a little bit about it. Break the New Girl. That should be easy, right? Trash like her doesn't belong at Burberry Prep. No, Maureen Reed is going down and we plan to make a specule out of it. Let's see who can make her fall in love first. Bets on. Any takers? Take on the filthy rich boys. They're the idol of the school. Gods on earth. Old money. New money. A rising star. These guys are nothing like the ones at my old school. I may come from nothing, but I'm determined to be someone. I'll let them get in the way. They say they'll make my life a living hell. I think they mean to keep that promise. So this is a reverse harem mature high school bully romance. There's four books in the series, but this book was the first book that I've ever read of a reverse harem and it blew my mind. There's so much drama in this book and there's also like a secret society inside the Burberry prep. It's just, it goes crazy. There's mean girls in it, bad boys. There's just everything that I like in books in this series. So definitely recommend so that all you guys can go read it because it's just so good. So the next series that I'm going to be mentioning is Havoc at Prescott High. This is by the same author as well. I'm just gonna get right into the book description. It said there's one word you don't utter at Prescott High. Not unless you want them to own you. Havoc. Hail Aaron, Victor, Oscar, and Caleb. The Havoc boys rule the hellhole we call Prescott High. Once upon a time, they ruled me. For an entire year, I endured their shit. But senior year is going to be different. This year, I own them. I made a pact with the Havoc boys to get the vengeance I deserve. Their price? Me. At their beck and call, in their beds, a part of their gangs. Their girl. A Havoc girl. Those dirty, rotten boys are going to get revenge against everyone that's wronged me. Everyone but themselves. This is an enemies to lover, love to hate. Um, there is bullying in this. Yeah, no, crazy, 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 crazy. This one was truly just, this one really blew my mind. For I'm probably going to say the same thing for all of them because they were all just so good. But this one just like, uh, like, I don't understand how she keeps on coming out with more and more because it gets better and better each time. The sex scene in this one compared to Filthy Rich Boys, you can tell like she obviously developed so much between that time, like for those scenes or whatever, because it is crazy different. So I really enjoy this. I believe she has, it doesn't say how many books, or but like she's still coming out with books for the series. It's not over yet. Um, It's one of her newer ones that she's doing and it's good. So good. Next one by her as well is The Secret Girl. This is the Addison All Boys Academy um, series. <laughs> she basically goes to an all boys school and kind of acts like a boy. They wanted her to be the first, not even the first, but like the second girl that you find out to go into an all boys academy and see how, you know, they wanted to see how they would get along with one another type of thing. Kind of like an experiment type of thing. And they're kind of like wanting to do a trial with her in it. Her father is the headmaster of the school now, so he kind of agrees to it because obviously that's his daughter. He's going to bring her along, so why not test it on her? And there's all these like lies and dark twists and things like that along it. It's just, 
sexy as well because the whole time like she's acting like um, a boy and having this one boy question his sexuality it's just it's just there's so many crazy things that happen in this one as well but let's just get into the book description Shh, i have a secret the sinfully gorgeous members of student council church ranger spencer michael and tobias can't ever find out i already got picked on because my father's a headmaster i don't need them to know i'm the only girl too i'd rather dress like a boy adamson all boys academy now has its own female student but i'm not going to be their guinea pig and not when there's a secret at this school nobody is talking about when not when the last female student here ended up dead so this is a mystery suspense um obviously reverse harem um i don't really think they bully her i mean there is some bullying in it but yeah so there's this huge secret that obviously she wasn't the first girl there and the first girl who did go there ended up dead but the twist is that the sister who ended up dead is related to one of the the boys on the council it's one of the boys on the student council so now they're all trying to figure out who's gonna come after her and who's trying to obviously kill her next because all these random little things keep happening to her but the whole time that all this is happening they're all kind of like falling in love with one another it's just it's a, it's a really good story i enjoyed it there's I think three books in this series and it's just good and I love it because it's like a mystery suspense because they're trying to figure out who the killer is and obviously in this one there's obviously a other like a secret society in between it and I think it's more between like the adults if I'm not mistaking and you see I don't know if she's gonna come out with another you know um like an all girls academy because there is an all girls academy that kind of just interlinks with the Adamson's All Boys Academy, when you're reading it, you see some like sides of, you know, their academy. So I don't know if she's going to go eventually into doing a whole other series with that one, but that would be good. The next one that I read, I don't know why I'm always doing stuff with my arms, is The Help. And this is by Callie Rose. And this one says, rich boys don't fraternize with The Help. They don't torture The Help. They don't crave The Help for as long as I can remember. My mom and I lived on the edge of ruin, so when she finally gets a decent job offer, she moves us across country to take it. Who cares if it means working as a live-in housekeeper for a man wealthier? Wealthier than God. The paycheck is good and it comes with a roof over our head. She even manages to get me enrolled in the fancy prep academy his son goes to. The kind that spits out future CEOs and politicians like a vending machine. But this new town has a few things my old one didn't. Like secrets that could get a person killed. And four of the hottest, meanest guys I've ever met. I might live in their world now, but I am not a part of it. And they'll do whatever it takes to remind me of that. We go to school together, live together, and share a dangerous secret together. But as far as Lincoln River, Dax, and Chase are concerned, I'm just the help. It is obviously a little bit different than the other books that I read. She is the help. I believe she is living in Lincoln's house, if I'm not mistaken, that's who she helps. But something happens with her mother. Her mother gets accused of a murder that happens. And, you know, now they have to figure out who the actual murderer is. And as they're doing this, like little things keep happening. Like, I think at one point she they try to kill her it's just a whole bunch a lot of drama that goes on in this book as well that i love and as you can see as we keep on going that's basically what i enjoy drama messiness and just the craziness in books probably one of my top favorites she's an amazing author i really like this author but this is resurrection by sabine davis probably butchered her name but i'll leave it down below um this one's good i really really like them i believe there's three books in this series as well everything changed the night my dad died the night i met saint gallon kaz and theo those man manipulative assholes set out to ruin me from after our hot night together but they didn't realize you can destroy something that's already broken and it only works if the victim cares which i don't because I've been in hell for years and nothing penetrates the steel walls I've erected until the sainthood decides I belong to them and cracks appear in my veneer. 
Their cruel games, harsh words, and rough touch awakened something inside me, and now I'm in trouble. They draw me in deeper into their dangerous world until I'm in the middle of the violence and the gang warfare, tangled up in all the secrets and lies, and there's no turning back because they own me, and nothing has ever felt so wrong. I'm exactly where I should be. But with enemies on all sides, survival becomes a deadly game with no guarantees. And sometimes the saints become sinners. This story is crazy. So basically, Saint is kind of like the leader and his dad is the main leader of the gang that they're a part of, Sainthood. Um, so it gets a little wild. Um, her dad... So her mom used to date Saint's dad when they were younger and she ended up meeting her dad, which then led to her leaving Saint's dad and marrying and having a child. And then Saint's dad, I believe, to try to rope them back into his gang and do illegal things for him so they can't go against one another type of thing. He ended up kidnapping her when she was around, I wanna say 13 or something along those lines. And ever since then, he's been having her do like little secret things, like try to steal information from her father. But it starts off with her finding out that her father actually got in a car accident and passed away, even though she knows deep down inside that it wasn't an accident and from there just all the craziness and she falls in love and then it's just a lot of things drama 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 that's what i like in books and that's definitely what this book was about um i believe like i said i believe there's three books in the sainthood high series okay the last one that i have to mention is the upper princess by em moore and this one's gang related to happens to be the top dog in the gang so he's the higher up the man the leader in charge of everything and she's just trying to make it up to him because she's obviously trying to kill him for killing her parents because he did it with no regard just killed them for no reason and that was that so now she's just trying to get revenge so this as she goes she ends up falling in love with these guys and she ends up falling in love with the top dog's son and that was kind of her Mia. that was kind of her plan to kind of like try to rope him in but she never thought that she would fall in love and while that's all happening he's a very you know he's not an open-minded guy it's his way or no way he's demanding um once he has her on his sight nobody else can have her he's a very possessive person so just a lot of craziness happens. She ends up fighting at this at their fighting ring or something like that, and that's how she gets his attention. And from there, just everything goes crazy. There's crime, sex, murder, a whole lot of fighting in this one, believe it or not. A whole lot of fighting, a whole lot of like back and forth. There's secrets, there's just a lot. And then the whole time while all this is going on, she's trying to convince the leader's son that he's no good, like he's not a good person, that, you know, she's trying to open his mind up to like her possibly having other partners. It's just, it's just really, really good. And you guys should just go read this. And I'm probably all over the place because my brain just starts working and I just kind of get all over the place, but go read this one. This one was really good as well. I believe there's three or four books in this year, I can't remember, but it ends really good. Really, really good. I enjoyed it the end of this video um i do have more books so if you guys are interested in learning about more books that i can recommend for reverse harem books just comment down below and i'll be sure to do so i'll see you guys in the next video bye